All right, gentlemen, it's time for the strength test, the ice block chop. Mickey, you're up first. You ready? Yes, sir. There's not a mark on that edge. The shape of this handle locks my hand in. Well done. Thank you, sir. All right, Cullen, you ready? I'm ready. Good news is your blade's in one piece. It's got a little bit of rolling right along this edge here. Bad news is there are parts coming off your handle. It's a problem. When I was swinging this, it literally was chewing on my hand. It's not a catastrophic failure. Can I still hold it? Yes. Would I choose to hold it? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Robert, your turn. We good? As I'll ever be. <laughs> Your wrap here is so bumpy that it's nothing but hot spots. That's not our real issue, though. Our real issue are where this metal blew out on a D-lamb. So basically, this entire section of the blade has those D-lambs chipping away. All right, bladesmiths, this is the sharpness test. Now, in our first competition, we did a rope slice. Well, today, on our 100th competition, we're going to do it again. Well. This is our version of a birthday candle. Mickey, you're up first. You ready for this? Yes, sir. Make a wish. Hold. <laughs> Your edge, one and done. Good job, sir. Your bleed. It will cut. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, Colin, it's your turn. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Hurt your handle. Another piece just came off. It did also dig into the hand, but your blade is sharp to cut through in two strikes. It will cut. Thank you. All right, Robert, it's your turn. You ready for this? Definitely. Your edge is sharp enough to cut through two layers of the rope, but overall, you have a very stout blade right here. It's like an ax head. Bladesmiths, the judges have passed their final decision. The bladesmith leaving the forge is. Robert, your blade didn't make the cut. Ben Abbott's going to tell you why. Robert, in the strength test, bits of your edge blew off at the weld seams. Also, your obtuse geometry and damaged edge caused a failure in their sharpness test. And it's for those reasons that we're sending you home. Robert, please surrender your blade. I gave it everything that I had, so I guess you can't really ask more than that. Bladesmithing is really important to me. <laughs> really, quite literally, bladesmithing saved my life, and I wanted to win to show other vets that are struggling like I am that there's something else that's out there. <laughs> and there's always a third way. Thanks for watching Forge and Fire on History. Click the subscribe button for more videos.